Welcome back to the channel guys. It is the following day on this uh, Corvette project doing the starter wires and or the starter wire and the battery wires. So we're gonna pick up right where we left off with got the starter wire done. I'm gonna put the heat shield on the starter here while it's off the car and then put that on and wire it up and get it started up. All right, so let's get ripping on this. Never used this stuff before, but I've seen heat shielding like this a bunch of times, and from what I've seen, it works pretty good. So we're gonna give it a shot on here. I mean, this stuff was, this was cheap. This was like 20 bucks. So, I'm not gonna be too terribly upset if it doesn't work, but we'll give it a shot. So, enjoy the time lapse. Feed it down through this little heat shield that's built in here. Put this on so I don't.
starter back on. Heat shielding. Should give me some uh, protection. There. There's your all watered up. Everything's in braided line. Inside, grab the keys. Let's get this thing fired up. I've got 13 volts. I don't know what issue we're having. But we'll see. Hmm. What is going on? thing I should see voltage and I do not take number 10,000 why not a little extra juice Easy fire up. Three, two, one. Not so easy. Interesting noises. It hates me. Alright guys, so as you can see, still having starting problems for some odd reason. I'm leaning towards the starter might be cooked, but uh, you guys let me know in the comments if you got any suggestions, any ideas, things I might be missing, but for now, I'm tired of working on it. I'll get this video posted. See what you guys say. See you next time.